Hi, welcome back to the custom model guy. Um, it's been brought to my attention about some um, audio issues with some of the previous videos. Uh, sometimes the audio, my voice is a little bit too quiet um, and the, the music is a little bit overpowering. Um, I do apologize for that. There's nothing I can do about the previous videos. Uh, just have to look ahead and make things better from now on. Um, one of the issues I was having was the um, um, the microphone amplifier. It was just a cheap USB thing. Uh, I did some. I spent all day yesterday just messing around with it. Um, I pulled the microphone and I still had 50% background hiss, and so that's just from the hardware um, with nothing else connected into it. I just had 50% 50, 50 background hiss, and that, that's just not workable. Um, and because of that, I was having to do a lot of um, filtering in post-production, um, which was obviously cutting a lot. So I've, I've obtained myself a new, well, new newish second-hand uh, mixing desk um, and I've repositioned the microphone uh, the microphone was the other side of the desk on a boom mic on a, on a boom arm um, I've now repositioned that right up here next to the camera so it's literally um, here just here is the microphone um, the other thing I sorted out was the focus because the focus really wasn't working I, I, I Purposefully, I use a, a, um, a Canon 70D, and the reason why I brought that particular camera was because it's got excellent video autofocus. So the whole point of, so the whole thing of um, fixing the focus was totally undermining the point of me buying this particular camera. But now I've said I spent all day yesterday messing around, and now I have it, so it focuses here, and it focuses here, absolutely perfect. So. With those things sorted out, we'll move on. Um, and if you remember, we were working on the thruster assembly. And so we had done the um, the small the small thrusters. That's those done. And now we need to work on. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that very well. The large, the three large thrusters. So that is going to be part 15 which is going to be on this sheet here. And it's those three large pieces there. And you can just see them there. The, the ones with the, um, the lines on them. So let's pop those out and make a start. And so I'm, I think the, um, the musical audio overlay uh, mix got better in previous videos I think it was video 5 um, it was extremely difficult to hear my voice particularly if I mumbled a bit and I do mumble and I do apologise um, it's just when, when you're concentrating on, on certain things um, I do tend to mumble I'm afraid um, but it's not, necess it's not necessarily something you need to hear so I wouldn't really worry about it too much. If it's something you need to hear, I will attenuate my voice. Attenuate my voice? Attenuate? No, attenuate means go down, doesn't it? I will amplify my voice. Right, let's clean up those little nubs off of there. Camera settings seem to have a nice vignetting. Notice, notice the nice vi vignette. <laughs> I love that word. Uh, if you don't know what a vignette is, it's um, it's the application of fades around the side into into shadow. Um, you can have a heavy vignetting or a light vignetting. I seem to be getting a natural vignetting with the camera settings the way they are right now. Okay, so that's that. That's that cleaned up nicely. So I also have new tools. These are quite precision. They, um, I don't know if you can see that, they close together extremely tightly, where the other ones are close together with a little gap. And that's why I was having trouble nipping and turning. So the, yeah, they go, the, they go on the outside. So I'm just going to start by just doing a gentle bend. Just 
sniffing around. Now given that these pieces are larger than the um, the other ones, we should actually be able to get a better curve. The, dif the difficult bit is getting the curve on that end piece there. Um, you tend to get a flat area. Harrison Ford, um, Indiana Jones. Da, 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 da. Oh, now this has actually got. Oh, I'm just the curve. I've actually got to get the tabs. Oh, that went in easy. Focus seems to be working for for my monitor. It looks like it's working better. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. That's one done. Can you see that? Bumping my head on the microphone. It's I have to keep remembering it's there. But that's not that's not too bad. Right, next one. That went very well indeed. Probably means last year I'm gonna be that's it. <laughs> uh, how are you liking the videos? Are are they um, are you liking the links? Um, comments, suggestions, I'm always open to suggestions, I might not necessarily take them on board and do anything about them, but I'm always open to suggestions. Um, comments about the um, the audio actually came from my wife, <laughs> she actually sat down and watched one of my videos for a change. Love you! <laughs> Um, once I'm done with this, I'm thinking to keep things, you know, I might pick up the DeLorean again. Um, that's currently sitting down in my, um, in my uh, drawer, all wrapped up, safe and sound. I might pick that up again. Don't know yet. Let's see how this goes. Um, I've also got a... I don't know if any of you watch Supernatural, but I've got a Chevy Impala. It's not the exact model from the from the show. Uh, I couldn't find the exact one, um, but it's as close as I can find. It is the one the one from the Impala from the show is a '69, I think. I think, and, and I got a '68. And the one from the show is a four door, whereas I got a two door. Um, but apart from that, it's 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 identical. I mean, you, you can't tell the difference. Um, what else have I got in the in the box waiting to be done? I've got another Star Wars model. I've got the Star Wars NX01. That's Star Wars. Ah, sorry, everyone. Star Trek. <laughs> Star Trek NX01. Um, Um, but that is a 1 350th scale and it's going to be a large one so that is going to be have to be sprayed in the garden so that will be a summer one um, I don't know what it's like where you live right now but where I am down in the west country it is awful uh, we have had constant rain for the past few days um, the problem is when we've got two dogs, 
and when it rains our back garden floods terribly um, and it gets to the point where the dogs can't actually use the back garden we have to toilet them out the front now luckily we live in a quiet road we've only got six houses in our road um, and one of them one of the houses is currently empty um, it's, it's up for rent um, Where is it? Next one. <clears throat> um, so luckily it was quite quiet because we the, the if the front garden's open plan, there's no um, hedges, fences or anything. It literally goes onto the private shared driveway. So luckily, I mean, we, we can toilet the dogs out the front um, quite safely without worrying them. They'd, they'd never run off or anything like that. Um, But it's not like it's a busy road with cars constantly going up and down. Yeah, so yeah, so the constant rain at the moment, so it's absolutely no good for um, no good at all for uh, spraying outside. Definitely a summer thing. I do have a garage, but it's we did sort it out the end of last year um, but it's got a motorbike in there it has got a very large desk area um, or workbench area um, which would be ideal for all of this because I'm working in such a small area um, I have to, uh, the whole my whole studio office has to be had to be so well planned um, I've got a, a like an L-shaped desk um, I've got four monitors on the mixing desk, spray booth, the shelves, um, two network attack storage boxes, a bench power supply, um, soldering station, solder rework station, um, and I want to get an oscilloscope as well at some point. The, I've got the network switches, I've got the phone speakers, um, I do have a massive printer at the side of the side of the desk which I want to get rid of which is currently sitting on the subwoofer for the sound system um, what I'd like to be able to do is get rid of the big printer get a smaller one because we hardly use it um, I use a scanner more than anything and then I can put a little table with the printer on a bottom shelf which will hopefully I need it's probably going to be like a modular table or something like that um, that I can set the height of different things, uh, the shelf and stuff like that. Um, so then I can get, I can stand it over the subwoofer and sorry, I'm just trying to concentrate on getting this piece now. Um, stand it over the subwoofer, printer on the bottom, sh on the middle shelf, and then perhaps put the mixing desk over there, away from where I'm spraying. Because I don't, I'm going to have to create, put a towel or something over the mixing desk when I'm spraying, because um, I don't really want to get s uh, spray particles, particularly of the, the nasty um, zero paint stuff, which is. Um, I can't remember what it's what the base of that is. Um, it's not acrylic. I can't remember. Um, yeah, but um, yeah. Anyway, right. So that's those three pieces done. All not so bad looking. Um, definitely easier to form those those um, larger circles. Right, I think uh, I'm going to leave it at that point and we will move into, it's going to be part three for the thruster assembly. So I apologise for that, these things take time. Okay, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next part.